फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट लर्नेड काउंसिल सबमिटेड दैट एज पर सेक्शन फोर्टी टू सी ऑफ द एक्ट द डेथ ऑफ ए पार्टनर लीड्स टू ऑटोमेटिक डिजोल्यूशन ऑफ द फर्म ही सबमिटेड दैट श्री एम बलराज रेड्डी दैट इज पार्टनर नंबर थ्री इन द फर्म एडमिटेडली एक्सपायर्ड इन द ईयर नाइनटीन एटी फोर एंड कॉन्सिक्वेंट टू हिज डेथ द फर्म स्टूड डिजोल्व ऑटोमेटिकली He further urged that it is settled law that it is the duty of the court to dismiss any suit instituted after the prescribed period of limitation, although limitation has not been set up as a defence, and thus the learned division bench erred in allowing LPA number forty seven of two thousand two and interfering with the judgment dated nineteenth October two thousand one. passed by the learned single judge on the basis that the plea of limitation was never raised during the pleadings and thus the learned single judge ought not to have dealt with the issue of limitation on these grounds learned counsel for the appellants urges that the impugned judgment whereby the decree passed by the learned trial court to dissolve the firm defendant number 1 and directing the partners to tender the accounts was upheld is ex facie illegal and therefore deserves to be quashed and set aside per contra learned counsel representing respondent number 1 plaintiff disputed the contentions of the learned counsel representing the appellants and urged that there is documentary evidence on record to show that the firm defendant number 1 continued to exist and its business activities continued even after the death of shri m balraj reddy he therefore urged that the contentions put forth by the learned counsel for the appellants that the firm stood dissolved automatically on the death of shri m balraj reddy is misconceived he further contended that the issue of limitation was never raised before the trial court and thus the same could not have been allowed to be taken at the first appellate stage on these grounds he sought dismissal of the appeal we have given our thoughtful consideration to the submissions advanced at bar and have gone through the impugned judgment and the material placed on the court in the facts and circumstances of the case we find that the reasoning given by the learned division bench while dismissing lpa number 47 of 2002 that the learned single judge ought not to have considered the question of limitation as the defendants did not choose to raise the plea of limitation in the trial court is ex facie erroneous lo in this regard has been settled by this court through a catena of decisions we may refer to the judgment in the case wherein this court held as follows the mandate of section 3 of the limitation act is that it is the duty of the court to dismiss any suit instituted after the prescribed period of limitation irrespective of the fact that limitation has not been set up as a defense if a suit is ex facie barred by the law of limitation a court has no choice but to dismiss the same even if the defendant intentionally has not raised the plea of limitation stop